नमस्कार इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल स्टडी अबाउट रिसेप्टर्स रिफ्लेक्स एक्शन एंड स्ट्रक्चर एंड फंक्शन ऑफ नर्वस सिस्टम रिसेप्टर ए रिसेप्टर इज ए नर्व सेल और ग्रुप ऑफ नर्व सेल्स विच इज सेंसिटिव टू ए स्पेसिफिक स्टिमुलस और टू स्पेसिफिक चेंज इन द एनवायरनमेंट सो एनी चेंज दैट प्रेजेंट इन द एनवायरनमेंट कैन डिटेक्टेड बाय रिसेप्टर्स एंड दिस रिसेप्टर्स ट्रांसमिट दिस इंपल्सेस to brain through sensory neurons so brain analyze this uh, information and give message to motor neuron and this motor neuron is connected to muscle or gland after reaching the information through motor neuron muscle contraction takes place where the rearrangement of muscle proteins takes place so muscle contracts and the action is performed and in case of glands after receiving the impulse gland secretes some chemicals it may be either hormones or enzymes types of stimulus receptor and their location heat for receiving heat stimulus we have thermoreceptors that's present in skin for cold we have thermoreceptors that's also present in skin light photoreceptor it's present in our eyes for sound we have phonoreceptors that are present in our ears and for smell we have olfactory receptors that's present in nose for taste we have gustatory receptors that are present in tongue touch receptor is known as tango receptor which is also present in the skin so these are the different types of receptors that are present in our body and these receptors are specialized for receiving particular type of stimulus from the environment so all receptors are specialized reflex action reflex action means quick action a spontaneous automatic and mechanical response to a stimulus acting on a specific receptor without the will of an animal here there is no time for thinking process so brain is not involved in in this process most of the reflex actions are controlled by spinal cord so the action is very quick but there are some exceptions in case of uh, cranial reflexes these are controlled by our brain mid brain control cranial reflexes for example blinking of eyes when a pointed object is directed towards our, our eyes we may blink our eyes this is due to uh, a reflex action that's controlled by our mid brain for example reflex action like a uh, uh, spinal reflex sudden withdrawal of hand while touching a hot object so hot object means it's um, dangerous to our body so when we touch an hot object suddenly we withdraw our hand that's a type of reflex action that's uh, controlled by spinal cord and the pathway of reflex action is known as reflex arc so here you can see the reflex arc here receptors that is present on the skin receive the heat or pain stimulus from the environment and through sensory neuron it reaches to the spinal cord area where it uh, gives message to motor neuron to relay neuron so motor neuron reaches to the muscles and muscle contraction takes place after the muscle contraction we will simply withdraw our hand and after performing this reflex action the message goes to the brain and uh, this message is stored in the brain so that we never perform these kinds of action further so because it's a uh, very harmful touching a hot object is very harmful to our body so we will never uh, touch the hot object consciously unconsciously it may happen but consciously we will never touch significance of reflexation what are the importance of this reflex action it checks overloading of the brain because it's controlled by most of the reflex action is controlled by spinal cord so it prevent overloading of brain quick response to harmful stimulus and it has survival value so if there is no quick response to the ha harmful stimulus we have no survival value our life will be in a threatened condition so it leads to life threatening situations human nervous system human nervous system can be divided into two main parts one is central nervous system and the next one is peripheral nervous system central nervous system consists of brain and spinal cord which is the vital centers for controlling all our activities 
peripheral nervous system consists of uh, nerves arising from brain and spinal cord that's known as cranial nerves from brain and spinal cord spinal nerves from spinal cord so this is a structure of human brain human brain consists of cerebrum hypothalamus pituitary gland pons medulla cerebellum these are the parts of human brain and human brain has three main divisions or three main regions that's known as forebrain midbrain and hindbrain the brain and spinal cord constitute the central nervous system they receive information from all parts of the body and integrate it that's a function of central nervous system the communication between central nervous system and the other parts of the body is facilitated by peripheral nervous system consisting of cranial nerves arising from brain and spinal nerves arising from spinal cord the major regions forebrain midbrain and hindbrain so let's see what are the parts of forebrain the forebrain is the main thinking part of brain so all complex activities are controlled by forebrain thinking activity itself a very complex process it has three it has regions which receive sensory impulses from various receptors there are separate areas in our forebrain specialized for hearing smell sight and so on forebrain consists of cerebrum which is the largest part of human brain it consists of two hemisphere that's known as cerebral hemisphere right hemisphere control the activities of um, left part of the body and left hemisphere control the activities of right part of the body so if any damage takes place in our right part of the brain left part will be paralyzed and if any damage takes place in the left part of the body right part will be damaged or paralyzed hypothalamus and thalamus these are the different regions of the brain hypothalamus control feeding behavior sexual desire hunger thirst body temperature these are all under the control of hypothalamus so what are the functions of hypothalamus control body temperature hunger thirst feeding behavior and sexual desire thalamus receive pain stimulus so uh, when we take uh, painkillers the message towards the thalamus is blocked midbrain a canal called cerebral acuate passes through the midbrain so in midbrain there is a canal known as cerebral acuate the dorsal portion of midbrain consists of mainly of four round cellings called corpora quadrigemina so corpora quadrigemina and cerebral acuate these are the re, uh, structures that present in midbrain and midbrain controls involuntary activities and also the cranial reflex midbrain and hindbrain forms brain stem so functions of midbrain it control involuntary activities and also cerebral reflex or cranial reflex hindbrain it consists of pons cerebellum and medulla cerebellum control balance posture accuracy and precision of voluntary action so riding a bicycle picking a pencil these are all under the control of cerebellum when someone takes alcohol uh, the balance will be disturbed so uh, he or she cannot walk in a straight line or Uh, the walking will be in a zigzag manner so the part of the cerebellum is here damage and control is uh, control and balance is completely lost so this is due to uh, alcohol action alcohol affect the cerebellum portion of the brain and uh, disturb the posture and balance medulla contains centers which control blood pressure respiration vomiting heartbeat and digestion so these are involuntary activities and these are also vital activities like uh, respiration and heartbeat are vital activities this is controlled by medulla if any damage takes place in medulla these all vital functions will be disturbed and the person may be in a life threatening situation so medulla is very important next part of the hind brain is pons pons helps medulla in its function to maintain the respiratory rhythm so the respiratory rhythm centers are present in pons So these are all about uh, the receptors, uh, reflex action, and the structure and function of nervous system. If you like this video, like the video, press the red button and also press the bell button, and uh, you will get be notified with awesome videos. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.